third building block of scrum is called the artifact after rules and ceremonies the last of the three building blocks for all scrum practices is the artifact is the artifact agile is based on the principle of customer value prioritization meaning that our focus is on delivering what's the customer value the most what's the customer value the most and not what we as a team think the customer would want now to figure out how to arrange our work to provide the most value to our customers in scrum we need to learn two main concepts which are the prioritizing the backlog and the user stories now the first artifact we're talking about is the backlog it's called the backlog now the backlog contains all the features and work that are needed to meet the customer's needs and wants. They are prioritized by the product owner who works with the stakeholder to continuously organize the backlog. So the highest item are pushed to the top of the list. At the same time, less valuable items are pushed to the bottom of the backlog. So this is the backlog hierarchy we have the epic it starts from an epic an epic is like a very big part of a requirements a very big part of a requirements like we want to build an e-commerce platform this is an epic because we don't have so much details about the e-commerce platform we want to build we just know we want to build an e-commerce platform now it goes down to what are the features of this e-commerce platform we want to work on okay people should be able to have a video call when they want to buy an item people should be able to make payments with different payment gateway people should be able to chats before placing an order so these are the list of features we want in the e-commerce platform so that is breaking down the epic into futures you see now we are understanding what we should and will be working on because we have them as list of futures now it now comes back to user story we break down futures into user stories so they can make more and more meaningful sense. Now, as a user, I want to be able to click on an item and immediately let a video screen appear and let me see who is selling the item. And the person is asking me what type do you want, just like a physical store. And I'm able to talk to the person even before placing an order that is a user story so you have broken down the futures into a more smaller component of what the user wants called the user story now the user story is now broken down into a tax now the developers now pick up the tax and work on those tax now you want a video the tax of getting that is one embedding a video frame two using either an api or you want a live source video where are you picking the source from from your webcam from your camera you want to record a video and upload so that is a tax that needs to be done in order to achieve the user story so it is just the breaking down of what we want into smaller understandable units and as you can see an epic is being broken down all up to a user story and all of these are being inserted or are being placed in a container or a folder called uh, a backlog so in that uh, backlog you arrange this user story that's okay this is user story one two three four five 
and six but the product owner comes and say no the users prefer we do this first so what it does is it does prioritization it brings the six up and brings the one down so this is prioritizing the user story based on the user's wants and that is being done at the backlog just as we have done here what about the backlog hierarchy we prioritize what the customer value using the backlog hierarchy and that is what i just explained here your arranging what to be done based on what the user wants so in terms of hierarchy the sixth has more value than the one for the user so we reprioritize the six comes up and the one comes down prioritize what the customer value using the backlog hierarchy now let's talk about these things in details the epics at the top of the hierarchy is an epic this is a large body of work for example, ensure our small business can seamlessly transition services despite an upcoming e-commerce platform change. That is an epic. It is a big description of what's to be done. Now, let's break that into futures. And as you can see, futures, epic are then broken down into futures which are distinct elements of functionality that offer capabilities to the customers for example as a business owner i want to ensure a smooth migration to the new e-commerce platform so that all our services remain available without interruption so the first one was an e-commerce they are breaking it down into something we now understand even better which is a future of futures as it were coming down to user stories is breaking down of futures into the user's wants and as we can see within futures we find user stories which are descriptions of what user wants told from their perspective for example, as a customer, I want to assess all futures of the new e-commerce platform seamlessly, 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 so that I can enjoy an uninterrupted shopping experience. That's a user story from the pain points of the user. And lastly, we have the tax. Further breaks down the user stories these are specific activities needed to fulfill a user story according to the definition of done for example review and update product listing for compatibility with the new platform test all payments gateway for seamless transaction and ensure customer data is securely transferred so this is what the development team will work on this is the tax that needs to be worked on to achieve what the customer wants let's have some few of exercises now let's imagine you are a part of a startup team developing a mobile app that helps users manage their time more efficiently the app combines elements of a calendar a to-do list and a productivity gamification now the user story the user story as a college student i want to categorize my tax into academics personal and extracurricular activities so that i can prioritize my day effectively so that i can prioritize my day effectively now which of the following item is essential for the user story to be considered ready for the sprints in the context of developing a time management mobile app a the product has fully been tested and launched feedback from the last sprint has been reviewed design mock-up showing the tax categorization interface are completed and approved a marketing strategy for the app is in place so for you to say 
or consider a user story as ready is when the team members have agreed that we can start working on this we all understand what to do on this this is the design mock-up showing the task categorization interface are completed and we have all given approval that we understand and know that this is how this should be done at that point we can say the user story is ready then the development team pick up the user story and break it down into a tax to be worked upon because it is ready to be worked upon and that makes our what answer correct type down what you think the answer is in the comment section below I choose the C. Let's see. Wow. If that is what you choose, reply to your answer and say, I got it right. And the reason why you think you got it right. Now, before we start developing the app, we need to make sure everyone understands what to build and why. Having a design mock-up that are completed and approved means our team knows exactly what the future should be look like and can work efficiently without confusion this is what is meant by or means for a user story to be ready all the prep work is done so we can dive into development with a clear plan just as we explained before now the second one is for the future allowing users to categorize tasks into academics, personal and extracurricular activities. Which of the following signifies that the tax is done? A. The product owner has approved the initial concept. B. The futures code has undergone peer review and any identified issues has been resolved, including passing all tests and receiving positive feedback from better testers. All tasks in the sprint backlog related to this future have been started. The user interface design for the categorization future has been drafted. For us to say what we are working on, the task we are working on from the ready user story has been done is the future code has undergone peer review and any identified issue has been resolved including passing all tests and receiving positive feedback from beta testers before you can say something is done it has to be approved done it has to be tested it has to be checked then you can say this task i have worked on based on the user story is done so what do you think the answer is Type in your answer in the comment below and state why. Have you done that? I will choose the B. Let's see. Exactly. Done means more than just finishing coding. It means the future works perfectly. It has been tested to be working perfectly. Has no bugs thanks to thorough testing and peer review and our real users like students testing the better version find it valuable and effective this ensures the futures is fully ready to be launched and used by everyone without ecops so that is when we say a user story that has been worked on as a tax has fully been done